What up, Creative World? Today, we are going to make a special piece for a client. It's actually a secret. No one knows about it. Well, they kind of know about it a little bit because I couldn't do it in time and I had to keep pushing it off. So I kind of told them about it a little bit, but they don't really know everything. Today, we're going to paint that bad boy. That bad boy right there. That one over here. This one. This one, so we're gonna paint this one for Vital Stretch. If you've been following the vlog, you know that the Vital Stretch is a stretching studio that I designed a couple months ago. I did all the interior design and the floor plan layout, and we designed this giant ass mural that I painted with Yeti. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out right here. I'm using all my YouTube skills. So I designed this special location within the studio called The Hearth, which essentially is gonna become the epicenter of the entire studio or kind of the heart of it. And once they come across this area, it basically explains the whole idea and the whole mantra of the brand and of the studio and of all the collectives within it. So they're gonna have marketing material and all sorts of things. There's gonna be a chalkboard there where they add uh, their positive words of the day and all these other cool features. And this piece is going to be in it. That's why we have to make it extra special. And we're gonna do that by using the same colors that we used on the mural. So again, the idea for the piece is to do a do you boo boo piece that represents partially myself as an artist and my involvement within the, the branding aspect of it. But most importantly, to really pull in all of the ideas and the colorfulness of what the vital stretch means, right? The idea of vitality, to always be pushing yourself forward, to be taking care of your body, to being vibrant, bright, and vital, and limbo. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we start, it's morphing time. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm about to take off. When I started this piece, I thought I knew exactly what I was gonna paint. I was really inspired by one of my original Do You Boo Boo pieces, and I basically wanted to make it a Do You Boo Boo piece, but just reference the mural that I had already created for Vital Stretch. Essentially using some of the line work, similar colors, using the same paint that I used in the mural. But I also wanted to let my creativity flow and let the universe take its course and basically just allow whatever was supposed to come out, come out. It was so uncomfortable. And I realized that this is actually part of my process. So often I'm working on a piece and I get to a point where I can no longer execute the original vision that I have. And most of the time I just get really frustrated. It's a time where I start hating the process and I get really annoyed of everything that's going on um, until I finally let go and allow the vision to change. Or should I say, go in a different direction and I finally fall in love with the piece again. This time I felt like I was more conscious of this and I learned to just let go and I allowed myself to just let the piece do whatever I wanted. And ultimately I did fall in love with it again. This ended up being one of my favorite pieces that I made this summer. And I'm really excited that it went to a really good place that will actually be enjoyed and seen by people. So all in all, I'm super, 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 super happy with this piece. With my face off. Just had a long day, scene three, niggas Jake and off. Don't touch my bread, chicken, pig feet, or my hog moans. Yeah, I'm about to take off. Yeah, I hit the bitch raw. Gas on that pin. Smoking with my face off. Just had a long day, scene three, niggas Jake and off. What up, creative world? <laughs> All right, guys, today, wow, I'm so excited. We never, I've never done this with so many people. I'm so excited today. We're back at the Vital Stretch. The place looks beautiful. We have Rob and Missy, who were uh, the very kind-hearted humans who hired me to work with them and put this whole project together. And today, we're giving them a special surprise gift. I told them I made them a piece, a special art piece, but they haven't seen it yet. They have no idea what it's about or what it looks like. And today is the day that we all Very figure excited. it out. So excited. You guys excited? Let's go check this out. All right, let's go yeah. check it out. Let's do this. Good world, here it is. Ready? Yes. Drum roll. Wow. Nice. Oh my god, I love it. 
looks really? legit so cool. Oh, yeah, it's man, so I cool. And, and one other thing. Is that is that a mustache on the bottom? <laughs> um, it is. Well, I, I love how it relates to the mural. Uh -huh. and, and I think the mural is like, you know, such a signature part of the space. You know, it incorporates our logo, mm -hmm. which is vitality, exactly. of course. And, you know, that, that means a lot to us. Uh -huh. We put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. Um, and then we incorporated the water droplets within that too, because that's life. Uh -huh. You know, water, vitality, life. And that's yeah. that's what we're bringing to, to Sono. That's what, mm -hmm. that's what we love about what we're doing here. Yeah. So I think it, it blends in with that beautifully. That's and so nice. with your inspiration of the mural, uh -huh. with the colors, the flow, and everything. And it's just... Yeah. So beautiful. All right, creative world, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today was really special. It was really exciting to actually see this project come full circle all the way to the end to this special masterpiece. Rob and Missy were very happy, very excited, and so it was really cool to actually hang out with them and get them their reaction to see the art. Um, the whole process was very interesting. I really did not imagine that this is what I was going to create in the beginning. So really pushing through, really trying to kind of believe in the process and think that and, and, and just kind of stay excited um, and let the universe do its thing. So uh, it was a cool learning process and ultimately I really loved the way it came out. So I hope you did too. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. And if you're in Norwalk, make sure you come and check out The Vital Stretch. And that's it guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, never stop creating.